Tom Cruise is the best. Tom Cruise is amazing. Tom Cruise is a hero. Tom Cruise is God. God is Tom Cruise. The one thing that's extremely consistent in all of these guys' diets is they all have protein shakes. It doesn't break down what's in each one of their protein shakes, so I'm just gonna make my very basic one. Uh, I'm gonna start out with a scoop of protein from Transparent Labs. If you guys need supplements, links below. But we're gonna use the vegan today. Throw some strawberries in there and get going. Okay, so everybody is talking right now about the Top Gun workouts and these Top Gun guys, Glenn Powell, you've got Miles Teller, and you've got Tom Cruise. So I figured, let's go through a day in the life of these guys and see what it's all about. I'm starting with Miles Teller, and after looking at a ton of different websites, one thing kept coming up, and it was in the men's health video as well. It says that his warm up is an 800 meter run, which is just under half a mile. Then he does 40 reps of flutter kicks, 20 reps of bench dips, body weight squats, 20 reps, feet elevated push-ups, 25 reps, alternating reverse lunges, 25 reps. And it's a circuit two to three times through. Okay, I'm gonna make a bet right now. If I can't get through this realistically without huffing and puffing, I will shave a mustache and look like Miles Teller for a week. That is easy. So let's get into that right now. <music> Up, so thank you Miles Teller, but we're gonna actually do a real workout. Uh, Glenn Powell's looks a little bit better to me. His workout is a superset workout. So it's gonna start with incline bench press, going into semi-supinated pull-ups, going into tricep dips, superseted with seated low pulley row, then going into the next superset, which is hanging leg raise with a Swiss ball plank, and then a single arm cable shrug. So let's get into that one right now. Scotty, what are you doing? Oh no, you gotta get ready for an actual workout now. <laughs> what are you in the Air Force? What is that? Oh dude, if you're gonna train like a military, you gotta look like you're in the military, right? <laughs> tell why Miles Teller trains like that though it, it makes sense now if he got too big he wouldn't fit in the pilot seat you know I, I get it I get it you think he's a big cockpit or a small cockpit oh dude he's definitely sitting back seat in something <laughs> Definitely more challenging than Teller's. Uh, this is a little awkward. I'm not a big superset guy, but I mean, hey, if this is Glenn Powell's workout, I understand. And the guy had a great body in the movie, so hey, if this is what he did to get there, I'm all for it. It's not a workout that I would say I would be doing constantly. It's not the training I enjoy. And that's what it comes down to, guys. You have to do the training that you actually enjoy doing. But it was a good workout overall. I feel really pumped. I feel good. Um, but yeah, so we're done here. Let's get out of here. We're gonna go grab some food and then head home and cook it and go on with the rest of our day. Scotty, what are you doing? What are you talking about? What are you wearing? Oh, no, it's cuts, dude. You know, I mean, because if we're gonna be doing a Top Gun movie, you gotta, you know, style it out a little bit. I figured this is what Rooster would wear. As you guys can see, the camp collar from Cuts, the only way to do it. As you know, it is summertime and Cuts Collection just came out with all of their summer apparel. This is just one of the pieces, so many different colors. So if you guys are looking for some awesome clothes, you know, shorts, t-shirts, shirts like this, we actually have swim trunks now. Head over to Cuts, I'm gonna throw the link below, but we're gonna get back into this video really quick. Looking into a little bit more of these guys' diets, I saw that Miles Teller has two lunches per day. We're gonna have one lunch, and his lunch consisted of five ounces of chicken and some sweet potato. I couldn't find the exact measurements on that guy, but we're gonna do seven ounces of sweet potato. He does kale. Nobody eats kale, because kale is bullshit. So I'm gonna make a side salad and enjoy that. All right, just like that, we are done. So we got seven ounces of potatoes. I would imagine that he likes his potatoes like I like my potatoes. Crinkle cut, fry, chip things in the air fryer. 
along with five ounces of chicken and a side salad with some fat-free dressing on it, I think, Italian dressing, something like that. But yeah, I'm gonna take that down and we'll get on to the next clip, let's go. So we were gonna try to recreate the football scene. We don't have a football. We are gonna then try to recreate the volleyball scene. Don't have a volleyball. So we found the sand of a volleyball court and we're just gonna stand here and take our shirt off. Oh, it's just as sexy as it can get. All right. Second meal of the day, we are going with Glenn Powell's dinner. A potato, a lean fish, we have mahi-mahi here, four ounces, is that 20 ounces? I doubt he's eating 20 ounces of fish. Uh, and then like five ounces of broccoli. So that's going to be this meal. Let's do it. Gains. All right, and just like that, dinner is served. So we got mahi-mahi, potatoes, broccoli. Gonna chat out on this and see what else the day brings. So we're actually gonna start wrapping up the video right here. First, we made some fun of these guys' diets and we made some fun of, you know, their workout plans. Remember about these kind of videos and about the articles that we made fun of in this is a lot of times these workouts that they post aren't actually what these guys did to get in shape. Did Miles Teller do these things? He talks about it and it's a circuit. Absolutely, he could have done this a couple times a week just to warm himself up and, you know, just keep himself in shape. That what he did every single day to get in the best shape of his life? Probably not. Glenn Powell's probably a little more realistic, but, you know, who knows? what he did behind the scenes. These guys are getting paid to look a certain way. Who knows what they're getting put on. They're probably optimizing their diets, obviously. You know, they could be on some kind of supplement. They could be on some kind of, you know, outsourced material that is getting put into their body. You never really know. So don't take these things as with like a grain of salt. These are a great place to start. If you're not working out right now, obviously just get yourself in the gym and start something if that's what you want to try. But most of these articles are written by people who work for the company who's writing the article and they just put together some random ass workout. So four sets of 10 on each exercise is kind of like one of those bare minimum things. And the diets, you do not have to eat like this to get in shape. Also, these guys, once again, are getting paid to look like this. Of course, they're gonna be super clean and super diet dialed in on everything that they eat because they have to look a certain way and that's completely fine. If you want to be that rigid, go for it, but you do not have to be that rigid in your life. I read an article that said Tom Cruise only eats 1200 calories a day, yet he trains like an absolute animal. That's not real. I do not believe that at all because 1200 calories, I know 13 year old girls who eat like double that and still lose weight and still continue on their life. I don't believe that he ate 1200 calories and I don't believe he eats 1200 calories every single day. Now, he could have done that for the last like week, maybe two weeks, just to cut down a lot of body fat before like shirtless scenes, but I do not think he does that every day. I think it's a very dangerous way to live if he's eating like that all the time because your metabolism will adapt to that. A lot of science, blah, blah, blah. What am I saying here? Find something that works for you, find balance for your body, figure out what your goals are and work out toward your goals and eat for your goal. I'm proud of each and every one of you out there. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Let me know some more celebrities you want me to try. It was a lot of fun to do this and I would love to make more of these videos for you. So until we see you again, talk soon. You.